Welcome to I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom from Dollar Shave Club, where we explain something very complicated in mere minutes to occupy your brain while you shave. In this edition, we'll be discussing the weirdest weapons ever invented, as explained by someone who sounds smart because he's British. If there's one thing that humanity has proved itself to be really good at over and over again, it's finding ways to maim, hurt, and kill each other. But a good old-fashioned pointy thing or exploding thing doesn't always do the trick, so over the centuries, people have had to get pretty creative about their weapon inventing. That's what led to the invention of the dreaded Bulgarian Umbrella. An umbrella that fired a pellet of ricin, a deadly poison, from its tip. That sounds like a dumb thing that would never work. In this, you are tragically wrong. The KGB successfully used the Bulgarian Umbrella to assassinate dissident writer Georgi Markov in London in 1978. The shot apparently felt like a bee sting, but three days later, Markov was dead. I stand both corrected and appalled. A slightly more useless covert weapon was a form of aerosol-delivered stink bomb developed for use by the French resistance in World War II, allegedly dubbed the who, me, device. The idea was to surreptitiously spray occupying German officers with a hard-to-remove chemical that smelled like feces. But since it tended to backfire on the sprayer, it was quickly abandoned. Another bizarre one was an American invention known as the Bat Bomb, a bomb that used actual live bats as part of its mechanism. The idea was simple, if cruel and dumb. A bomb-shaped metal canister would be dropped from a plane, each one containing 1,000 Mexican free-tailed bats. Attached to each of these bats would be a small incendiary device, the idea being that the bats would fly out once the device opened in midair, roost in nearby buildings, then unwittingly set them on fire. The project was so slow and expensive to develop that rival scientists actually managed to invent the slightly more useful atomic bomb before they even got one bat bomb off the ground. Well, that was sickening. Talking of which, back in 2007, there was a lot of talk about the Department of Homeland Security's potential new non-lethal weapon, which was referred to by the media as the puke light. It was basically an LED flashlight that pulsed and changed colour in such a way that looking at the beam would cause a person to experience vertigo and nausea, and possibly throw up. To date, the advices have not yet been issued, presumably because no one wants to invest in a weapon that can be defeated by simply averting your eyes. You know, I was kind of hoping for something a little crazier sounding when we started this. Well, how about this for ridiculous? Dr. Zippermeyer's Whirlwind Cannon. Despite sounding like a cheap theme park ride, this was the brainchild of Austrian scientist Dr. Zippermeyer during World War II, and actually funded by the Third Reich. The idea was to literally shoot tornadoes by generating the force from explosions through a series of specially designed nozzles. It was apparently pretty good at breaking planks from around 600 feet away, but for its intended purpose of knocking allied planes out of the sky, it was absolutely useless. And like the bat bomb, shelved without ever seeing action. If only they could weaponize stupid. Tune in next time for more I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom. And in the meantime, head to dollarshaveclub.com for more podcasts and a big old pile of grooming products.